the neurotoxicity in hae is related partly to the primary brain injury the cell death which i discussed and we have secondary injury from excitatory amino acids like glutamate and aspartate we have over stimulation of the nmda receptors which leads to calcium influx into the cells and uh, accelerated apoptosis happens from these pathways as well so the cell death is programmed but this programming is lost because of these injuries and so the cells may die earlier we have free oxygen radical injury and nitric oxide plays a role as well um, hypoglycemia seizures hypotension and the associated inflammation all contribute to brain injury so we have to focus on every single aspect of it remember that hyperthermia is also damaging to the brain when the reperfusion happens rapidly with the vasodilatation maintaining an appropriate blood gas picture is important and so when we are not deciding about cooling we should have passive cooling and remember that passive cooling is not cooling the baby to a significant level but avoid hyperthermia so avoidance of hyperthermia is more important than dropping the temperature more because if the baby gets too cold that affects your neurologic response and if you are going to base your decision for cooling based on the neurologic response it may be confusing so passive cooling is keeping the baby around 36 degrees or so not to 33.5 once you make the decision to cool actively then you cool the baby